hey and welcome back to my channel i am diamond 76 home decor on a budget now for today's video i am going to be doing a try on haul from new york and company they were having an awesome sale and i did get some things that i can also wear for next summer as well if I want to and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my phone and I'm going to show you the outfits maybe in the mirror because my cameraman he's not here um he is at home and he is my uh my grandson but he is not here and so I'm going to have to try to do this on my own and see if I can <laughs> do this so I do have on the first outfit and I'm getting ready to show you the first outfit and I will be right back to show you and i also got something from h m as well and one of the tops that i did get from uh from um uh, new york and company it's going to be a little too it was a little too big even though it's a small but i will be right back and like i said i'm gonna have to pose in the mirror and i hope that you enjoyed my video and I will see you guys. Oh, and one more thing. The jacket that I have on, I forgot to iron it. <laughs> or, yeah, so we're going to work with it. We're going to work with it, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Now, for the first outfit that I have on, starting with the shoes, I think these shoes are from Charlotte Ruth, if I remember, and they are a black suede. The pants that I have on are from, well, the whole outfit is from New York and Company, and they're like in a cobalt blue uh, color. And these are called the Whitney Pull On Pants High Waisted Ankle Stretch Pants. And they are in a small. And what I decided to do was when I saw this jacket, I really knew I had to have this jacket to, I am the type of person where I like um, ankle pants. And um, I, I just really love ankle pants. <laughs> so the jacket is sort of like a linen material. It is um, something that I can throw in a washing machine and that I can wash even though I need to iron this like I said it stops right here but that is okay and I thought that how I paired this would be really good for date night and uh, maybe um, a brunch maybe and but this is something i would wear to a brunch depending on if i'm going with my husband and i'm really loving this outfit and let me tell you i'm feeling this outfit now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my shoes even though you can't see my face that is okay the outfit is what you want to see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my shoes and i'm going to come right back to give you an option it may it may not be something that you would wear with this outfit but the black shoes i think look perfectly fine and i'll be right okay, back here we are with the uh the nude shoes on nude pumps and i think if i'm correct i got these from uh charlotte ruse as well because i think I, I went crazy one year we're getting buying shoes from charlotte ruse but i'm liking how the shoes are looking with this outfit i'm really liking it now what i did was and i'm not sure if you'll be able to see is that i'm going to unbutton this because if you feel like you want to um unbutton the jacket i do have a like a um i have a thinner shirt that is under it if you can see it and what i decided to do was i wore a white bra up under it because the shirt is bra just in case you want to give that pose okay you want to give that pose so <laughs> but just in case if you want to you know like i said just loosen up the jacket if you're feeling a little hot 
you can do that. And I think that it is perfectly fine to have a top like this up under here that is a little bit thinner, just in case later on you want to remove your jacket. And what I like about this jacket as well is that it has a snap button right there, if you can see it. It snaps right in place. So yeah, so this is the first outfit and the top also, it came from New York and Company as well. And I will be right back with the next outfit on. Okay, I am back with the second outfit. Now, the uh, I still have on the black pumps, okay? Just giving you a choice. I like the black pumps with this, but we're gonna try to see how the nude pumps will look with this. And the pants that I have on now are called the Audrey Pants Slim Leg Crop Four Way Stretch. And these are in a size two from New York and Company as well. And the top that I have on, I also got from New York and Company as well. And I'm gonna go up just a little bit. Um, I still cap on the thin white shirt up under here that I just had on and that is only because you can see through the shirt as you can see so I wanted to make sure that the girls are hid even though um, I'm 54 years old and I have no business wearing a shirt this thin that you can see through so I wanted to make sure that I had everything covered and I'm really loving these pants now me personally I wear white in the summertime okay even in the fall I will wear white that's just me so this is how this outfit looks with the black pumps that I have on and this is the pocket right here that you see coming through the pants right here as you can see these are the pockets and I didn't tuck the shirt in because I wanted sort of like a casual look but a dressed up look and this is how I chose to pair this um this second outfit now let me change the shoes and I will be right back Okay, I changed the shoes to a pair of nude pumps. And like I said, both pair of shoes are from New York and, I mean, are from Charlotte Ruth. And I don't like these as well as I do the black pumps, but I still like it. I just wanted to give you a different look. And since this was white, I think you can get away with wearing the nude pumps. And I'm really loving how the how everything looks now with me I wear a seven I wear eight no I wear a, a eight in pumps but sometimes depending on the pumps I will get them as you can see a little um, I will go one size down so these are a seven and a half um, I wanted to, wait a minute, <laughs> they are a seven and a half and I got them in an eight, okay, because um, I don't, when my shoes fit, my pumps fit exactly the size and it depends on the shoes, I can get them in the size that I wear. If I know that I'm going to be doing some walking, I do get them, uh, I do go a size, a size up in my pumps sometimes and like I said yes I they won't come off my feet as you can see I'm moving um, I learned how to walk in pumps even though they are a little bigger size they won't hurt my feet okay because every now and then sometimes we have to I have to slide my foot back like that <laughs> sometimes because my foot goes too forward but other than that um, yeah, so that's how I, that's how I'm able to walk around in pumps. So yeah, let me go ahead and change out and I will be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you one more thing. Now, the top that I have on is kind of like a blue jean top, as you can see right here. And I did also get this from New York and Company as well. And I thought about something. Now, I don't know how many women would do this. Now, sometimes when I wear um, all white, which is what I have, what, what is what you see me wearing. 
Now, I have on the same tank top that I had on just a few moments ago. And I decided to just pull it down just a little bit. Because sometimes I like to tie my shirts like this. And I don't know if anyone still does that. And I really like the look with the shirt uh tied uh because it, it is coming down a little a little i'm trying to turn it does come down a little bit over my back end but if you prefer not to wear it like this and i like to because it gives that outfit a little bit of kick and i did keep on the same nude pumps now if you want to you can just wear it like this if you want to okay and there is nothing wrong with wearing it like this or you can button it up to like right here and let the white tank top still show if you would like but this is still a casual look probably for going downtown going to a bar um i don't go to i don't i don't go to bars okay <laughs> um if if you know if you do go to bars or if you want to go um, to dinner and I still think this is something casual that you can still wear if you feel like dressing up and yeah I just thought about this and I said well let me go ahead and show you guys what exactly I mean and I really love this blue top and I wear a lot of blue as you all know especially a lot of jeans like I said this is something I would wear in the fall as well well well, not because of the, uh, I, I do wear white in the fall, but not these pants because it'll be too cold. But I may, now I have sometimes worn these and worn um, knee high boots, but that's just, but that's just me. So let me come back, I think with the last, uh, the last thing that I want to show you and I will be right back. Okay, for the last outfit, as you can see, I still have on the cobalt blue pants. And you're probably like, Pam, you got on a coat. <laughs> yes, I got on a coat. Um, I got this coat from H&M, and I am loving this coat. It was $59.99 at H&M. If you can see, it's kind of like a suede material on here. And I am really loving this coat right here. It does, this is the inside of the coat and it does have a pocket. And it also has a belt, as you can see as well. Now, one thing about me is that just like you have to be attracted to someone, I have to be attracted to coats, okay? Meaning that it has to fit my style, my clothes that I already have, um, in the mood that I want to set when I do go out with my husband. So I am loving this coat right here and I had to show it to you. I did get it a little early. Yes, I know. We're still in August. Okay, but I had to, uh, I really had to, uh, okay, if I'm the pocket, I really had to show you this coat. I think this coat will look really good with a pair of uh, short boots. I really think they will look good with even uh, knee-high boots, but I really love this coat. I think it looks good with the heels that the nude heels that I have on. They look like they have a pink undertone to them. So they are really looking good with the coat that I am wearing. And I need to hang it up right because I have my flap over here. It's as you can see, I it dented because I left it in a bag too long. So I'm gonna have to try to see how I can get this dent out I got in the uh, in the front of the coat or the collar of the coat or this is a collar so in the coat but I also like the flap that is right here as well so I hope that you're getting a good look and a good you're able to see a good look of the coat my light is going in and out as you can see but yeah these are the kind of coats that I like to wear when I am going out with my husband 
or going out with my friends. I don't know. Now, if I did wear this in the wintertime, I probably would have to wear uh, some type of jacket up under it, a sweater up under it, uh, because I it's kind of, it feels heavy, but I'm a cold nature person, so I may have to put a sweater on up under here as well. But yeah, this is the coat that I picked up from H&M, and when I saw it, I ran straight to the, <laughs> straight to get it because it was only a few left. And like I said, I did have it in the bag, hence the wrinkle of the belt. So I'm going to hang it up. And yeah, that is the end of my try on haul. And if you like my video or if you like my content, then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. And if you want to join me on my Instagram, please join me at Diamond2872. I would love to have you on my Instagram as well. And uh, always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do. And I will talk to you guys later in another video. See you later. Bye.